welcome ladies and gentlemen to a new episode of uh, today's youth uh, and today uh, we having a guest she's a multitasking young lady uh, she's studying uh, petroleum geophysics at Ain Sh Shams University uh, she has a lot of uh, she's doing a lot of activities actually she has a passion for nature uh, she has a passion for uh, mountain climbing, skating. She will tell us more about herself. Thank you very much for joining us, Toa. Um, thank you, Naveen, for uh, having me today. Um, uh, I, yeah. Toa, I would like you to start by telling me why did you choose this major of study? I chose this major because it uh, put me close to my passion. Uh, studying uh, geophysics, um, combining between geology, which was the first thing I wanted to study uh, when I wanted to um, start the, uh, the first step of being in the uh, mountain. Uh, you have a love for nature, nature yes. actually. Yes, so, and I so wanted geophysics to is actually related. A combination between physics and geology. Uh, mixing between the uh, two signs and um, uh, studying the, uh, uh, the physical geology and the physical properties of uh, uh, the rocks. Uh, it didn't stop me uh, from um, traveling and from uh, following my steps in nature. It actually helped me more in uh, understanding more about uh, nature and about the um, the real uh, uh, properties of rocks and uh, knowing what I'm actually looking at when I'm traveling and when I'm hiking and when I'm doing these kind of stuff. of hobbies to uh, you uh, you like uh, or you love uh, mountain climbing uh, skating uh, also music tell me more about all those activities and how are you balancing your time between those activities or hobbies and your studies uh, in a difficult major actually you're studying um, petroleum geophysics it's not an easy major I know uh, everyone in my school actually find it hard to do anything besides studying, but I actually find it really uh, the most important thing to do. Uh, when I'm doing a lot of activities, it helps me more to study. First of all, I started to uh, play the violin. Uh, it was the first thing I uh, ever done in my life. At what age did you start? Uh, I guess I was um, eight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've uh, played the violin since then. Um, then I followed the steps of having the passion to the opera, going every year to the Nutcracker, uh, Swan Lake, f only going to the opera. You also have a passion for ballet. Yes, very much. I used to play ballet when I also. was uh, a little, but uh, I didn't con continue in that. Yeah. Uh, then I, uh, I watched TV and I was very passionate about the uh, hikers and the uh, mountain climbing, mountain climbers who were just doing this, these kind of activities and knowing what they are studying and knowing what they are seeing. Mm -hmm. I was astonished and I really loved it. Um, then I did my researches and how can I do this in Egypt while studying? I found this major helps me a lot. Uh, also by doing a lot of activities like running, skating and hiking, um, I didn't find it really difficult to time manage 
to manage my time and to uh, have uh, these kind of activities while studying, it didn't stop me. Uh, and I'm really having a great score. I got an A this semester, the last yeah, semester, great. yes. yes. Um, so you're also an academic achiever yes. beside all the uh, activities. Yes. Right. Uh, tell me more about mountain climbing and uh, when did you start and uh, uh, how did you uh, go from the beginning up till now? Which mountains did you climb? Um, more details on this. Okay. Yeah, I started when I, um, I started in 2018. I was uh, 18 years old. Uh, I start, my first mountain that I've hiked was, wasn't uh, uh, suitable for beginners. Which one was that? Uh, Mount El Banet in Sinai. Okay. Uh, the trail That's the considered the highest mountain in Egypt. No, no, it's, no, not, it's the not the highest. highest. The highest mountain in Egypt is Mount Catherine. The castle, yes. Yes, okay. uh, uh, this is the highest mountain in Egypt. But where where but the St. Catherine uh, uh, Monastery is. Yes, yes. 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 Uh, the Mount Albanet wasn't considered uh, suitable for beginners. Maybe the first trail or the trail. Why where is it we not sent? suitable? Is it harsh to climb? It's not that much. It's just uh, the hiking trail is just um, having high altitude and um, uh, the elevation gain is not very easy. Depending on the trail we take, um, the tr uh, the ascending trail is moderate uh, requires a lot of uh, effort. effort yes um, and uh, it, it has a really big uh, inclination mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the uh, descending trail is really harsh mm -hmm. uh, requires crumbling more than uh, just walking and hiking it's yeah. a one day hike but it was fun yeah. Uh, I really loved it, but I wasn't that uh, experienced in hiking. I just uh, went there. Um, and You didn't take any training in hiking before starting? No. I just did it. I was wearing On running shoes. You, you had people with you, right? Yes, yes yeah. of course. I went with a uh, hiking group hiking and group. Uh, I was wearing a running shoes. And they were all experienced? Yes. Yes. I learned so much from them. Um, running shoes aren't suitable for uh, hiking. They are slippery. It's not that adequate for hiking, and it's not safe for eyes. What type of shoes did you usually use for hiking? Um, hiking shoes. Hiking uh, shoes. Suitable only for hiking. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's it's not slippery. It doesn't. It sticks um, uh, very well, and it, it helps a lot to. Uh, it doesn't slide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of resistance, you know. That's all. Did you ever take any training, specialized training for mountain climbing? Uh, after my first hike, yes. You I, started? Yes. Tell me more about the training. I went with uh, a lot of hiking groups in uh, Wadi Degla Protectorate in Maidi, uh, learning more, uh, going with uh, a lot of uh, hiking schools, uh, their groups and um, people really professional uh, in this uh, field. Uh, I learned so much from them in the survival skills, safety, and the really Equ the needed equipment in these uh, fields. Yes. Uh, what other uh, activities besides mountain climbing do you practice? Running. Running? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is for fitness? Yeah. 
uh, running. I uh, participated in uh, a Pyramid Half Marathon uh, this December, 21K. Yeah. Uh, it was my first half marathon and it was really fun. Uh, it was a big challenge I never had imagined that I will experience in my life. Mm -hmm. You also mentioned skating. Yes, uh, in life speed skating. Uh, it's a really fun activity. Um, uh, not freestyling like the ones we see in downtown. Uh, it's only for speed. We're, um, it's more like a race, mm -hmm. but it's fun. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, tell me more about the uh, love for all these activities and um, how did you uh, start, I mean, uh, how did you develop the passion for all these activities at the same time? I just did what I had to do and uh, I thought that uh, this is what I do and this is what I have to do. Um, we always think that we have, we must have time to do things, but I do things without thinking that I have time or not. I just do things. Yeah, and you manage your time well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, tell me more uh, about um, mountain climbing and how far did it affect your personality, your strength, your uh, flexibility? At first, when I started mountain climbing, I didn't really. Uh, care if I didn't put it in mind that it will change my personality but uh, after a while after, after going in so much uh, obstacles and uh, facing a lot, a lot of difficulties I realized after one year of practicing hiking and camping and mountain climbing I my personality changed 100 degrees my um, my reaction to things changed and how, how did it change i became more patient uh, more reasonable more um, i cared less about the things that i shouldn't be caring about uh, the little things we always be tensioned about it in our daily life i cared that uh, my mental health is really important than than anything else Well, uh, Toa, tell me, uh, what are your plans, your dreams for the future? Are you planning to continue in all of these activities besides, of course, your academic studies? And, of course, you have a plan for a future job in your career. I don't plan uh, really about my future. My personality is really spontaneous. I do, I do what, I, what I feel like doing. Yeah, but are you planning to work as an engineer? As a scientist. As a scientist. Yes. Um, what are your plans for this? I'm thinking about uh, completing my studies in uh, theoretical physics. Uh, this is a dream I want to achieve. Um, also, my dream is um, having a non-profit hiking community, only focusing about. Uh, over the things that we really should be caring of, about, um, our health, our um, um, mental health, our priorities. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's all what I dream about. May, and yes, I dream of, about uh, achieving more, maybe uh, uh, doing uh, another half marathon or 
a full marathon. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, what does it take to be a good mountain climber? Practicing and Practicing. reading more and uh, learning more and being humble. Did you ever uh, participate in any tournaments in, in, uh, with regards to mountain climbing or skating? Uh, like what? Uh, any tournaments? I mean, did you participate in any um, tournaments or any uh, like international competitions or, or local competitions? Um, no, not really. Not really. Uh, just the uh, half marathon, and um, I didn't get the highest rank, but uh, I achieved in uh, a suitable time I was hoping for. That mm -hmm. was the only one. Mm -hmm. uh, you definitely faced a lot of obstacles uh, as a young female uh, practicing uh, not a very uh, regular type of sport. Mm, yes, very much. <laughs> Tell me more about that. Uh, being uh, a female was an obstacle and being the youngest one in the group was, an, an, was another obstacle. Um, being um, these two always gave me um, a really bad feeling that I was a burden uh, to the rest of the group, that I was um, only making them feel like uh, uh, I'm slowing down their pace or uh, that made me feel more insecure. But uh, at the next day, I find myself the only one running, uh, descending the mountain and waiting for them all to follow me up. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Toa, you also a, an event organizer. Yes. This is uh, also another activity to be added. Tell me more about that. Um, when I gained a lot of experience from hiking, I focused on uh, sharing these experiences well with the with people mm -hmm. I wanted to share with people the the, lo the knowledge of nature how they should be changing the, their perspective to to the nature and to life mm -hmm. I wanted them to feel more alive mm -hmm. because everyone is just focusing on their job they're running in their lives yes this is true Yes, uh, they're just achieving um, the best ranks in their job, focusing that they, have, they should be uh, gaining a lot of money just to achieve things that they can easily give, give, a, give, a, give them up. Mm -hmm. I wanted to share with people that they really should be living mm -hmm. a real life. Um, that was my priority. So I created uh, the uh, hiking, um, a, non a non-profit hiking community, mm -hmm. and uh, it was the best decision I've ever made. Mm -hmm. I gained a lot of experiences uh, from this hiking community. I shared uh, my knowledge in this, uh, um, in the hi in hiking and in running. We we shared a lot, a lot of moments. We climbed a lot. I teached a lot, and I. I made uh, a lot of uh, free hikes at Ma uh, Wadi Degla uh, Protectorate. Uh, it was a weekly hike and it was free, um, giving them a one hour lecture or uh, an introduction to hiking, what they should wear, what they should um, uh, be holding uh, in their uh, backpack. فيش فيها 
A final message that you would like to send to youth your age from your place here? I wanted to share and, and I want really to share that 
everything is possible. I'm really optimistic about this. I'm really sure about this. Uh, no matter what age, uh, no matter your gender, no matter really the age, um, I'm young, I started young, and I'm the leader of a group. Um, some of them have like, are over 50, and I'm their leader, and I'm the youngest one in the group. And everything is possible, and we can all enjoy our lives just to give ourselves a chance to live mm -hmm. and to enjoy life more. Great. Well, uh, Tua Tahir, uh, thank you very much for joining us and uh, all the best of luck in uh, all your activities and all your hobbies and, uh, of course, uh, your uh, very difficult major uh, petroleum geophysics. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Dear viewers, that's uh, all for our episode for today. Don't forget to join us next week, same time. Till then, it's goodbye. Thank you.